Hello and welcome back to Maple Farms with a poorly Mr. Farquhar. Now, last time out we were going to roll and fertilize our fields. Um, plans changed. We couldn't roll them, so we fertilized them. And we sold our horse stable. Not just because we didn't have nothing to do, but because we have no money. Uh, we sold the horse stable. We cut down some trees. Not some trees, we cut down some hedges. And we're going to adapt that into a much larger field or meadow for growing our grass for our cows. We then went and purchased a cattle trailer and 16 new cows. We got 8 Holsteins at um, 12 months old and we got 8 Swiss Browns um, at calves. So they are no months old. So now what we need to do is just drop an extra uh, bale of hay in, I think. Yeah, spike looking forwards. And uh, they've got plenty of grass. Oop. Impaled on the shed. Plenty of grass. So we just want to top up the hay. So then that the cows that are producing a little bit of milk for us uh, are happier. Now, let's try and, uh, so tight on that wall coming in, smacking everything about. Now, <laughs> my advice to anyone else with the channel is when you're not feeling well, <laughs> just take days off, don't record videos, because things go wrong. I can already sense that this is not going to go good. but making that sacrifice for you guys we are trying to keep things a going there we are finally right <laughs> we'll uh, drop our bale down there we are they are fed I should keep them happy for a little bit longer I mean it's not loads but it's it's enough just to uh buy them by for a bit it's going to be a while I think before our, um, our, all our new grass is ready for a cut but I did leave the cow pasture out front and we can cut that and ted that and use that as hay or grass whenever we need to if we get short I'm hoping we won't I'm hoping we can uh, just let it be for now so let's detach that <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to try not to be doing that all day. It's not nice, I know. I can't help it. My partner works in the hospital and she brings back all sorts of bugs and germs for us. It's lovely. Now, we need to spend that lovely cash that we got from selling the horse stable so I am going to head to the store and we're going to get ourselves a um, milk tanker or a liquid tanker that we can put milk in um, we've got just under 6,000 litres of milk um, I think they're selling for like 2,000 2,000 per thousand litres a little bit more a little bit under so uh, as soon as we can start selling that we can be making more money because the money we got from selling the horse uh, stable, that's not going to last us long. That'll soon go. It costs us a thousand pounds a day just to run the farm. And the more animals we get, I think the animal upkeep will go up as well. So it's going to cost us more. But, you know, saying that, even if we just lived off us in the bank, that's, you know, a good 80 days worth of uh, money there. But that's not the point. We want to be making money. So as soon as we can start selling milk, even if we only do that every couple of months, or even, yeah, every couple of months, I think that would work out to be at the minute. But as, as our cows get bigger, they'll produce us more milk. I think once they've uh, calved themselves, they should produce more milk then, because I am surprised that they are producing milk before they've calved, but who am I to argue with the logic of it all? Now, when it comes to carton milk we've not got a lot of choice 
for um, tankers at the minute, or I haven't come across many anyway. But I have got a modded version of the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S. Uh, it'll carry uh, 8,000 litres for us. Costs 9,500. And like I say, if we fill this up with um, 8,000 litres, that should sell for 16 grand or thereabouts. So it'll it'll pay for itself with the first lot of milk and we'll have some left over. There are a few options on here. I'll oh, so you can feed it straight out. We'll leave it with the hose connection. Um, I'm not going to change the colours, I don't think. We'll, uh, we'll stick with them. They work well. I like the metallic shine on it. So we shall buy this. We'll get it back to the farm. On the back of the Massey, the uh, Joskin Aquatrans is looking gorgeous. Lovely model. I'll try and find a link to it. I'll pop it in the description and uh, give the modder some credit for it there. I'm not very good at remembering who does it before I make them because I'm never certain what I'm going to be using when I do it. I don't come into, uh, come into my day that well planned out. I just think to myself, right, we need to get and we need to do and then uh, we go out and we see what's available what I've uh, what I've got there I think that's that's just the way I the way I approach life just wing it baby if you can just wing it and win why worry about preparation <laughs> that's that's not that's not a good a good way to approach life I don't think don't do that people <laughs> don't copy me <laughs> do better expect more of yourselves now we're not going to do a milk run today because uh, we're not going to have a full tanker I'm not going to run the tank in, uh, sort of half full or anything like that so it probably won't be until May, June until we're doing our first run but I figure we've got the money and I don't want it to get dwindled away on things we don't need, so we're going to spend a bit of time getting the stuff that we do or are going to need. That makes much more sense to me. We started with a lot of equipment. There's just a few things that we needed to add. I mean, there is even a chance that we could change some stuff out now. We've got some money that if we sold some things, we could change some things. Now, we don't collect the milk from this side. That's slurry around here. But I might just keep the tank around here. Sort of out the way. Let's just see what we're doing. As for the rest of the farm. Our grass. Like I say, it's going to take a while to grow before we can do anything with that. Our barley isn't going to be ripe until early June. So that gives us uh, a little window now to earn some more money, get a little stockpile on the go. Now I'm not going to do a lot of contracting on screen for you guys, but I have lined us one up for today. Uh, we're leasing the equipment. The farmer has set it all up on the field for us already. So we're going to head out down there now and uh, see what we're doing. So we've taken on a job down at field uh, 109, I believe it is. And that is to plant some corn. Now, it's not a very big field. It shouldn't take a massive amount of time. It'll probably use up, you know, a good majority of what we've got left of our day. It's a uh, tractor and some different equipment from what we've been using. So I thought that would make a nice change to show in this episode. Saying it'll earn us a little bit of money, and uh, then we can, or I can then get stuck into a good month of contracting. There is loads of fertilizing jobs, there is a ton of cultivating jobs, all of which can be very boring to watch repeatedly. So I will happily do them by myself. But we have been given a lovely little fence. 
take a little look, we have got the Fabra 515C, and on the back we've got the Amazon uh, Preka 45,000 or 4500 2C Super. It's uh, already full of seeds. There is another bag of seeds at the store, should we need it, which we will, I think. And also, we've got seeds on the farm, so we shouldn't have to buy any more. So let's just uh, have a little look inside the fence. Now, I do like these little fence. I, I use the little fence a lot in uh, FS19. I'm quite partial to them. I think if you've got a nice European map, they, they go very well. All right, let's start her up. Now, we're not going to do that in first cab. In first cab, in cab, in first person. We will come out, as it were, over the shoulder. Now, they haven't uh, given us any fertilizer for this, so uh, one presumes they're going to do that themselves a little bit later on. I want to get myself nice and snug. And again, they've not worried about um, <laughs> getting the stones out of their field. They've just gone for a, a shallow cultivation or a disc harrow or something there. And uh, a bit like me, they're winging it. But if the equipment breaks, it's their equipment. Now, I don't know how that works with bringing your own equipment to do contracts. Because obviously, if you work your own fields with stones on the wear and the damage builds up quicker on your machines but if you take your equipment out to say a contract do you then take more wear and damage on your machine if that farmer hasn't uh, picked his field because none of them do Probably not, but if you do, that'd be quite unfair, wouldn't it? And it's not like stone picking ever ever comes up as a job. I've not seen it. Although if it did, I wouldn't take it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I'd stay well clear of that. I bet it would pay well, though. It'd be up there with paying like a ploughing contract, wouldn't it? Bloody old stone picking. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun. We'll get the corn in the ground for this farmer. Uh, yeah, it's something different. Different bit of equipment. Always up for something different.
last little strip along the edge here. Uh, this should uh, complete the job. But I would like to just uh, tidy up the top and tail headlands just from where we've been going uh, a little bit short at times, trying to turn around. There we go, a little bit tight, she said. There we go. So we'll run one across the bottom, one across the top, and like I say, it should be done. It may have already popped. I don't always pay attention to it because I I know I'm going to finish the whole field. So I uh, I don't generally look for the, uh, the little notification popping up. So that's that one. So that is a perfect size cedar for this job on this field. Yeah, 28%. 95 litres left. It's absolutely brilliant. That is efficient. I'm hoping that's right. I hope they didn't want to fertilise it as well because we've not fertilised it. And uh, if we come over it with a bit of fertilising equipment, it won't uh, it won't work. I don't think. Oh, gone into the bush. So let's just check our contract and see if it is complete. Oh, can you believe it? I've put corn in when they wanted sunflowers. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't think we can fix that. No, I just changed over to sunflowers and <laughs> tried to plant a strip of sunflowers over the top of that. And that's not... <laughs> It's not done it. Why didn't it tell me that I was planting the wrong crop? 109. 109. Sunflowers. I switched it to sunflowers, but I was on corn. If I, uh, if I put it back to corn, let's see. Uh, oh, I can't have to turn it off first. Here we go, we'll stick it on beat. That's completely the wrong thing. It doesn't tell me that I'm trying to plant the wrong crop. Or even that it's like the wrong time of year or anything like that. Oh man, that is absolutely crazy. <laughs> absolutely crazy. Um <laughs> ah! Oh, I don't think I've ever done that before, because it doesn't know. <laughs> doesn't normally let you. Well, turns out, turns out, <laughs> we're not earning any money <laughs> this afternoon. Uh, we, we owe someone a big apology because we planted them. <laughs> oh dear. We have planted Richard Miller one and a half acres of corn when he wanted some flowers but we did get to use the uh the fen fabric 515 and the uh, the amazon planter which i thoroughly enjoyed but i've got to go and apologize to uh to richard i've put the, put the wrong crop in <laughs> oh my bejesus Oh, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Why did we do that? That is that is absolutely crazy. Um Well, I'm gonna go and find Richard. I'm gonna go and apologise to him. I'm sure we'll have to sort out some sort of compensation for that. Uh but other than that, or even with that, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode because I'm ending it there. If you have Give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on. We don't always make mistakes on this scale. Uh, I'm going to blame it on not feeling well and fatigued and drowsy. Oh dear, comments and feedback down there. Have you ever done that? <laughs> Have you? Or am I the only one? Why didn't it notify me that it was the wrong crop? 
Oh my bejesus. Right, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'm going to go and grovel at Richard. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.